welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today I'm going to do a fun Tingu haul. It is strictly craft stuff that I bought for my junk journaling items. Um, I'm going to open this up and, and pre-open the stuff up so it's not as noisy to open. And um, I'm going to show you uh, at the end the item that I got for just a penny. So stay tuned to the end to see what amazing item I got for just a penny. All right, I am back. So I'm gonna start out with this. Uh, this is a craft mat I got. It's approximately eight by 12. It, it, unfortunately, and I probably should have realized that it does not have inches on there. It truly just has metric numbers, um, size A3. Uh, this one side is a bit shinier, as you can see, so I probably would not use that on camera in the future. It has um, just a ton of different lines on there. And then this side is, um, just a bunch of little hashtag marks, so I might use this. I'm not sure, I'll have to see how it ends up looking on camera. Um, it's too shiny. Um, I am happy that it didn't come, it, it's a little bit lifting up in the corner, but it didn't come too bent. It came pretty well packaged and pretty well straight, so I am happy about that, because that's what I was afraid of. It's gonna come kind of rolled up, and I'd never be able to get it straight again, but, so we'll see how um, that works. Oh, by the way, this was uh, 9.28, so. All right, so I changed from the uh, black mat because I wasn't sure, again, how shiny it was going to be on the video, so I didn't want to do the whole um, haul on that mat just in case it looked awful. All right, so the first three things I got were bags of charms. Um, I saw a couple projects that used charms, and I really didn't have any, so I thought I would see what I can find. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is this mixed bag of charms. And I'm not going to go through and show each and every one of them because um, this haul would be, you know, way too long. But I'll just kind of give a little um, overview of them. It's called uh, Gold and Silver Mixed. It was $2.24. There was uh, 50 of them in the package. And they are just random hearts and butterflies and shells and the word love. Yeah, just some cute things. See, it looks like... Um, Saturn with the rings, a Paris, moon, the, the palm hands from like tarot cards. Yeah, interesting. Uh, hand. Yeah, very cool. I like them. Oh, little dice, and that's really cute. Okay. Uh, the next one was also 50 pieces. It was, did I tell you it was 224 for that one? I'm not sure if I did. This is 50 pieces for 98 cents, and it was strictly silver ones. And this one is um, also a little hammer, life is a gift, floral, a little clock. So definitely some random stuff, skull bones, another clock, very cool. Airplanes, ooh, a snake, interesting, right? I guess that's a snake. <laughs> oh, it has a little tree on the other side, life is a gift. Oh, I really like that one. Um, some tools for a manly journal, a wrench, the hammer, some stars. It looks like a wolf. Um, oh, we're living in the future. <laughs> it's 2026. Built a whole lot of that one for a while. Ooh, a sew is that a sewing machine? Oh, no, it's a stapler. Oh, no, it is a sewing machine. Oh, very cool. I'm uh, working on thinking about doing a uh, sewing journal. So that is a very cool little sewing machine in there. So, all right, so that is these 50 pieces of silver that were 98 cents. And the last one I got is the antique bronze variety one. This one was also 50 pieces for 248. So I got 350, 150 charms for about six bucks, six bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, turtle, that's cute, a feather. Looks like one of these. Got quite a few of these. Uh, I think those are like lotus flowers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, angel, uh, the heart with the angel wings. That's really cute. Very Tim Holtzy with the light bulb. Another one of those palms. Interesting. Bigger. Uh, schoolhouse. <laughs> Yo ho ho! Pirate's life for me. Yeah, and oh, palm tree. That's cool. So some travel journal items in here. Oh, looks like a light. Very cool. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to do one more th thing um, that's kind of related to that. 
and our these bulb uh, pins. Um, I got two packages here. The two packages was a mix set. It cost two thirty nine for the two together, so like a dollar twenty for the bulb pins. This is a package of fifty, right? I believe of just the kind of antique bronze because it kind of I thought would go with these really well. And then this is a mixed bag of silver, gold, and that rose gold color, also 50 in the package um, that I thought would kind of go with the other ones. Um, but yeah, so 100 of them together for $2.39. I think that was a pretty good deal. So next item up is this uh, retro style. Uh, it says paper craft. It is frames. They were $2.49 vintage style frames. Um, I'm not sure that's how many comes in here, but they are just, um, they're pre-cut out frames, and they are paper. I don't think they're stickers. No, I don't think they're stickers. So it looks like it comes with like three of each kind of frame. Yeah. A little bit of pictures of ornate frames, but I like that they're pre-cut out. They seem to be cut out pretty nice. A bunch of ovals, and then a bunch of square ones. That one, this bluish one. And that one's cool with the gilding on there. Brighter, and that one. So, yeah, so that's not too bad. $2.49 for that. Um, I have printed out frames. Actually, there's a frame freebie on my coffee account, if anyone was interested. Um, but once you print it out, you got to cut the center out part, which is not difficult, but it's kind of nice to have them uh, taken care of and cut out for you. Okay, uh, so the next thing that I have is these are uh, called medie medieval stamps. They're $1.35 for them, and I believe there was 50, yeah, 50 of them in here. They are stickers. Um, I like them because they had the stamp um, outside, um, but they were much larger. What I'm not too thrilled about is the shininess, but I think they might be kind of cool. Make sure they're not a washy or something clear, which I don't think they are. No, they're not clear. Very sticky though. A quick uh, flip through. Um, like I said, it's called antique or medieval, so there's lots of. Um, it's pretty um, medieval-looking things. Old ships, old people, <laughs> old mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Flowers. Yeah. So quite a variety of stuff. Botanical people. That's really nice for like a travel journal would be. Ballerina. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool for $1.35, 50, 50 stamps. Not as happy about the shiny part, but I do know how to get rid of shine. I'll package that up later. <laughs> All right, so the next one is also, um, I believe, 50. Oh, it's 100 pieces. It's called uh, Landmarks, and this was $2.54. Also stickers of landmark locations. I thought it'd be fun for a travel journal type thing. Milan Cathedral, Egypt. Again, these are shiny. Hopefully showing them. Japan. Interesting places. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you can see lots of lots of buildings, uh, statues, windmills. Very iconic kind of San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Um, Statue of Liberty. And these are probably all pretty similar to that. So 50 in each pack, so 100 of them. The Buddha. Can't really say these are right side up. Another Statue of Liberty. Oh, they're just duh. Yeah, interesting. I like the colors. They're not very, they're bright-ish, but they're not um, screaming 
um, primary colors. Lots of teals and oranges, kind of retro-ish colors. Egypt pyramids, oh, Las Vegas. Yeah, so, oh, uh, Sydney. Opera House. Yeah, cute. I like them. Okay, so the next thing I have are these. These are uh, 10 pieces, 12 pieces of stencils. And it looks like it comes with the ring to put them on. These were $3.48, so 10 stencils, three, 35 cents each. Um, I do have a darker piece of paper here. Hopefully that will show what it looks like. Um, a little white show better. I don't know. I'm going to go with dark. Okay. So these are, they're not too flimsy. They're pretty good. It's kind of got brick uh, holes. This is um, patterned like a uh, animal. Can't think of the name of the animal though, but. And another kind of animal spots. Kind of a crackle look. Um, it's kind of a modern look. I like that one, that's kind of fun. And this looks like a brick with like ivy on it, maybe, or uh, moss growing on it. Just kind of a splattery kind of stripes. Looks like a tree. And kind of like an algae kind of seaweedy kind of look. And kind of like a fishnet, that's kind of cool. A little warped. And then this is kind of two-pieced. I like that, one brick, the other's kind of a mesh. And then another hollow one. So, yeah, not too bad for 35 cents each. It'd be fun to use these to um, just um, grunge up some background. And it comes with a handy ring. So, I like that. 348. Yeah, I think that's a winner. Okay. All right, moving on. Getting bigger and better here. So. Um, this I am not going to, um, I will do a flip through at the end of the video. So if you want to see what's in here, cause it's pretty huge, um, and you don't want to wait through it, I will do a flip through at the end of the video. So you can fast forward to that point if you want or skip it. So this is called uh, golden mic. It is, I believe a thousand stickers or a hundred sheets, a hundred sheets of stickers. So a hundred sheets of stickers, it was five seventy eight. I'm not sure how many stickers are in there, but it's 100 sticks. So each pile of these has 25 sheets of stickers. Um, they are approximately uh, three by three, and they are the clear PET stickers, and it looks like they just peel. Yeah, they peel off and have the clear around the outside. So, and like I said, each one is a uh, whole bunch of stickers on each sheet. So like this one has five. So if each one had five times 100, that's 500 stickers. Um, but I will go through it at the end to show you what it looks like. But it looks like it could be interesting um, for that. So um, again, 578 for that. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm also gonna go through and probably do a flip through at the end because it is huge. It is called Label Age. It has a thousand pieces. Now, if anyone saw my previous haul, I had um, this item, which had um, a thousand pieces. It was advertising. Um, these are uh, clear washi stickers. That's what I'm assuming these are. And um, that's why I got them. I'm quite excited to see what these look like. I have not opened them up fully. Um, this I will do a basic flip through. Um, also at the end, if so you wanna see what's more inside of it, um, stick through till the end. It was $5.49 for this. Now that original one I got with the advertising, I think was $9. $9. So $5.48 is a good deal. So um, these have uh, white stickers, um, lots of, um, they're mostly labels. This one is a bunch of uh, colored browns and blues. And this one's got a bunch of greens and reds. Again, just all labels. And this one looks like all uh, browns. And then this one has more labels that are um, kind of more um, advertisement kind of thing. So um, I thought that was a great price, especially since the thousand I did for the other one was um, like nine something. And this one was, what did I say, 549. So 
um, yeah, so uh, stick by to the end if you want to see more what is inside of that one. But I thought that was a great price. And I will be linking all of these at the um, in the description. Um, they run out of these things all the time, change prices, so the prices I've quoted could be different from what you see, as well as um, they might be unavailable at the time um, that I show the video, but I will do my best to link all of these items. Okay, so the last item, the one you've all been waiting for, is the item that I got for a penny. Now, how I got it for a penny was, I, from a, one of my previous orders, they had sent me an email saying, um, you know, thanks for shopping. I forget exactly what it says, but if you'd like to purchase this for a penny, I was really leery about it. Was it really going to be a penny? Um, so I went to the um, uh, website following the link on the email. I knew it did come from Timo, so I did trust to follow it. And um, I added it to my cart, and sure enough, it showed up as just a penny, and um, I purchased it. I will uh, uh, link a picture of the... Uh, that we see the email of my purchase um, here. So you can see I just paid a penny for it. Um, so here it is, those flowers. It is um, two, 320 pieces of flowers. Now I, I can link this for you to purchase. I can't say that you're gonna buy it for a penny. I, don't know offhand how much it is normally, but I, how could I pass this up for a penny? Um, the other reason I liked it is I, I have those butterflies. Um, I bought these before um, through Timo, the uh, clear butterflies, and I love them. I use them a lot. So I was hoping that these were going to be the same thing. Um, I will open, um, I'll show I'll, each one, I'll open one package, um, but I'm not going to do a flip through of them because it's take way too long. But these, like I said, orange ones. Uh, cream ones, pink ones, purple, red, brown, yellow, and another set. Oh, did they send me two purples? Oh, they look different. Looks like lighter purple and darker purple. It says a collection of dried flowers. All right, so let's open the pink ones, see what they look like. So, yeah, like the other ones, they are just uh, clear PEC stickers, just like the butterflies are. And I'm not going to be able to open it, peel it off, because I'm trying to now. You know how that goes. Oh. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> Get a pin. I usually do not have this much trouble opening these, but of course I do right now because I'm trying to show you. There we are. Okay, <laughs> so peels off. It's a skinny clear with the clear backing, so very nice. Okay, let's do our best to. Looks like there's two of each. They're really pretty. They remind me of the butterfly that I got. I really like them. still see well enough on here. The wood grain probably shows it okay, but yeah, I really like these. And I mean, I, I, I'm sure they weren't too expensive. I'll see if I can link the price, find the price out and put it on the screen. Um, they are they're very, very, very nice. Like I said, they very remind me of the butterflies that I found. Um, and um, I've been getting quite a lot of use out of them. They are dried flowers, and it looks like they come with, and I was not aware of this, um, but it looks like they come with these discs that are like the little sealing labels, little wax seals that you would put on top of there. Um, there's different shapes. There's a, a key, a sun, Looks like a heart, that mail that I had, and then I'm not sure what that is. That looks like, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> not sure what that is. Maybe an origami bird, like that a swan. Not sure. Kind of looks like that, but 
Very, very pretty. Um, so I, I might show a flip through this at the end of the video also, seeing how uh, much time it is for these, because these are really pretty to look at. So, all right, well, that is gonna be it for this haul, for the shortened version. Um, if you would like the video, a thumbs up would be great. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel to see future videos, please do so. I'd like to have, I'd love to see you join uh, us up here and see future ideas and um, videos on me using these because I am just brimming with ideas uh, for what I hauled in today. Quite excited for them. So, all right, again, stay tuned if you want to see the um, flip throughs of definitely this guy and of the, um, I can't seem to find, it. oh, there it is. <laughs> The box of this um, to see what's further in there and probably the flowers. So stay tuned for that if you want to see those. And if not, thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. All right, thanks for sticking around to see the huge flip through or um, show and tell for these uh, bigger items um, that you wanted to see. Hopefully um, you'll see something you like. So again, this is the Label Age 1000 pieces. Um, I do have a bin I'm gonna stick them in. And we're just going to start with the first package and see what we got here. Okay. All right. So it looks like there's quite a lot of uh, word labels, stuff like that. So I'm wondering if these are clear like the other ones. And they are a bit clear. It's hard to tell, I think, with the whiter ones on there. You are the best thing. Fortune. Some French words. Some numbers. What you seek is seeking you. Well, that's interesting. Uh, plain labels. I like the plain labels a lot. Looks like a mailing label, some numbers. Yeah, that one's kind of cool, drugstore. All right, let's get those in there and see what's next. All right. Okay, these appear to be brown and green-ish labels. And we might be able to tell better if these are clear-ish. Sort of, not as much as the other ones, which is good. So check, like a library card. Like I said, lots of green and burgundy kind of stamp things. Dates, fragile. <laughs> Gotta love some fragile. Uh, numbers, addresses, yeah, just generic camera spelled wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's spelled right in another language. I should not have some. Never assume everything, right? Airmail. Yeah, fun things that you probably like make on your own where you had like the outside thing and then stamp something on the center um, and then, you know, cut it out. Yeah, not mad about those. Okay. All right, so this one looked like it had some of the ones that kind of reminded you of like what Tim Holtz was, but staticky, sorry. Like those. Those are always fun. Blank labels, free samples. I like these ones with the like ledgers on there. So these appear to be more blues and browns. Darker brown instead of this. This first, this batch was more reddish. Um, this is more brown brown. So blues and browns. Lots of date strips, pharmacy numbers, circle numbers. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely see Pride of the Kitchen soap. <laughs> Yeah, collected by, those are cool. Look at those. Yeah, I like them. So, yeah, not totally see-through, but 
definitely thinner, definitely washy type feel to them. Okay. All right, blue ones. Blue and blue and brown. My little bin's getting full. All right, and these were more of the look like brown. Vintagey looking. Just a whole bunch of labels. I don't think I'm going to be needing labels for a while. What do you think? Hopefully that doesn't say anything bad. <laughs> it says Chicago. Look at that. And these, this cool. It's got just a hint of printing on it. A bit of a coffee stain on there. Yeah, I like that one. Just scripty words in the back. Just letters. Yeah, those are cool. Very cool. All right, so those are all random -y, generic. These seem like they were more specific. But I could be wrong. Could be just how the front one is. But circles, oh, those are like um, milk caps. Children's special. Looks like tickets, a seal. See that the seal is not broken. Airmail. Parts of a powder, plane tickets, oops. Ticket, YMCA, like a label. Christmas greetings, cute. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting shape. Katmandu, cash book, like a label, address. More fragiles, some more numbers. I've seen this, I've had this grocery ditto store thing before. Special handling, airmail, those are cool. Cheery, cheery, cheery. Looks like there's like two, two of each of everything. Post letter, they start getting a little bit smaller. Plain, rhubarb pills, <laughs> those are cute. Yeah. Concessions. Yeah, I like them. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put that in my little box and one more fun thing to play with. So, I said I gotta find a cap for that. <laughs> and we'll have another one. I stick them in here, I changed them to these when I did them because um, um, these are smaller, obviously these, I can have a better chance of um, going through and then putting the lid on them uh, was a great way to be able to fish through stuff and be able to lock it back down so just need to track down a label for this I'm sure I have it somewhere because um, my luck I go and flip it off somewhere okay be back with uh, the next item all right so this is gonna be take two of my PET sticker collection of the squares I did it once before and it was very glary so I'm gonna try it again and hopefully I won't get as much glare this time to show you these beautiful stickers because um, they are truly beautiful um, I just want to show the detail on these. You can see, like the sunflower has all the petal lines and everything, and the rose you can see, and the little, it says bingo on there. So very nicely detailed for these. They are um, quite the variety pack. So there's flowers and mushrooms and numbers and butterflies, labels, just a ton of different things. cherubs and I mean a lamp just words very cool and that yeah you might think it's weird I'm kind of to this one side but it's definitely um, the best chance of me not showing you some glare on these um, I guess that goes that way pretty fairies and mushrooms those green butterflies very cool and that stamps the uh, bunny from Rabbit from looks like Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if I showed that the first time I did that picture. Uh, uh, frame. I mean, I should say, I will show you this detail on this frame. Very cool. There's like a little angel hanging there, a wood square with the ribbon. Very cool. All right, pictures of Mona Lisa. More butterflies, 
stamps and circles, postcards, words, and more butterflies, retro phones. Very cool. That's the first 25. All right, so next 25. Uh, red car, those, uh, like the red truck, says Merry Little Christmas underneath there. Um, this is kind of a joke, and it comes up again. Um, that says Mushrooms Banner, kind of like how when they do those cakes and someone leaves words, um, you know, add photo here, and they spell out add photo here. So that's a mushroom banner, and it happens quite often, so it's not a one-time mistake. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, flowers and butterflies, beer. An elephant made out of leaves, very cool. Some more labels and flowers, mushrooms, lots of organic things. Mushroom with the cat behind it. There's another mushroom banner there. <laughs> There's another mushroom banner. Your awesome headline. <laughs> So I'm not sure if they like took this from an advertising place. It says vintage banner, your awesome headline. <laughs> Sample book kind of deal. Yeah, so are they perfect? No. Are they fun? Lots of variety? Yes. I think it was, uh, like I said, I threw the, I threw the box away because I had filmed this already and it looked, um, I thought it was done and I threw the box away. And when I looked at it, it looked awful. So um, I believe it was 548 for um, the, oh, it's a pretty cute little bunny with the flower umbrella. Um, I believe it was 548 for the box, but I do say that in the main video. All right, next, next batches. Oh, that hedgehog is so cute. Can you see him? Look how cute that hedgehog is with leaves for like his spine. A little bunny with a house. So cute. Oh, even that mushroom has um, doors and a window. <laughs> cute. Happy Women's Day, March 8th. And I think that actually is true. It's pretty white flowers there. March 8th was Happy Women's Day, or Happy Woman's Day. Lots of frames. Wreath frames. Angels. Yeah. Precious Lover. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be putting that in a journal anywhere, but... Big sale, 70% off. Yeah. Okay, more cherubs, mushroom banner. <laughs> it's not gonna be, it's not gonna stop, it's not gonna stop being funny at any point, because really, mushroom banner. And then uh, another one of those half price sales, 50% off sales, a date. Yeah, very cool. All right, last pile of 25. So yes, as I was saying in the beginning part, um, there's a hundred of these sheets, and I think the smallest one has four, but like this one has six. Uh, this one, that might be one piece. That one's got five pieces. So um, minimum, which there's definitely more, would be 400 stickers, but um, there's probably closer to 500 stickers, I would think, in that whole pile. So, <coughs> excuse me. So for 548, so my math, is that a penny a sticker? 548 stickers or 548? I think it was worth it. stamp o -matic, that's cute. Window frame, that's really cute. Some pears. Lots of mushrooms. Some cute hedgehogs. Wreaths, fall wreath, that's cute. We got a spring laurel wreath. All right. A new low price of one ninety seven ninety five. Eiffel Tower stamp, nice green car. All right, and then the last one. 
forever. Very cool. Okay, well, uh, hopefully that one filmed a little bit better. And the last part is going to be my one cent floral stickers. I still can't believe I got those for a penny, so. All right, and last but not least, I finally decided that I will show you these because I want to see what they look like and I figure I gotta get them into, gotta get them into the package anyway. Make sure you get all those little guys out of there. There we go. All right. Okay, so. Oh, looks like there's a couple extra of that one. Okay, well maybe there is four of everything and I kinda, I didn't really look that closely at them. It's got all, all jankied up. seem to be stuck together. Yeah. So some of them have four, some of them have two. I'm not sure how that happened, but get these unstuck. Get some scissors here gonna trim that bottom off just so they don't keep resticking to themselves in the package with the other stuff. Yeah, I don't mind the golden. They look pretty. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna jump them in my container here. best I can keeping them upright. Okay, All right, let's move on to the red ones. Gotta have some pretty poppies in there, right? Like, oh, like, I like how those are kind of wilted a little bit. They definitely look, um, definitely have the realistic feel to them. This is kind of interesting. They got like tape on them. I didn't notice that on any of the other ones. Like they've been taped down in uh, the whatever book they were in. Like if you had them in a dried flowers book. I wish they wouldn't have stuck together though. That part I'm not that part I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I like that tape. That's kind of fun. That looks almost orangey. Interesting. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna keep checking this package though because my circles um, keep sticking and it looks like, and I didn't show you on the other ones, but it looks like these circles have different things on them compared to that first one I showed you. They have um, different, uh, whatever those, I can't think of what they're called, wax melt um, seals, different seals on them. So. Yeah, kind of cool. I like it. Okay, this is the I'm gonna say off white version collection. And again with the wax seals, just all different kinds in there. Looks like books, mountain range. That's cool. Yeah, I like those. Probably can and obviously mix and match them too because they're, well, they're all gonna be in one container for me. And I don't know if I'm gonna just probably just spread them out here. 
because they're mixed up, but these are, oh, they're so delicate looking, you know, just not in your face. Um, it's not like some of the fussy cuts that I have, which, I mean, I love my fussy cut flowers, but um, these are very cool. Make some very interesting, um, delicate, pretty tags and things like that. So I am just loving these. So happy I decided to follow that email trigger. Get a little static here. <laughs> That's the only part I'm not not too thrilled about. Glad I decided to do that because I have for especially for a penny, but like I said, I am very cool. Um, very happy. I'm sure whatever price they are is probably well worth getting these. Yeah, the pyramids, the moon, another moon. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little static here. to keep them together so you can see them if you're hanging out with me though this very very end you really I'm sure wanted to see them <laughs> so trying to do my best to show you them yeah very cool very very cool I like them a lot Yeah, very cool. Try my best to make sure they're staying in frame here. All right, second set of purples. I thought they sent me a duplicate, but they are definitely a different color. They're darker. And those uh, winged notes, and looks like a wolf or a cat sitting on a fence. Yeah, very interesting. Pretty, aren't they? I just love their colors. Very, very cool. I just wish they weren't so slippery. Oh, I love that one. These are so pretty. Right? Yes, I love them. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Cannot wait to play with these. Absolutely. Okay. Oops. I pre-opened these so I kind of <laughs> take a little less time. And of course my little doilies wax seal melts have flown the coop. All right. Yeah, little flowers on there. That one's, those are nice. Nice and neutral. All right, so these are interesting because they kind of almost look like um, leaves at the, um, not really floral. Yeah, definitely more like uh, collections of leaves 
at the end of their season. I don't know if that went with this pile or gets it was over here. Might have been from the, a different pile. We'll see. Yeah, these are cool. I was not too excited to see a pile of brown because I'm like, oh, brown flowers. But um, I bet these would go cool um, mixing them together. You know, putting them with a brighter set of flowers. Yeah, very cool. I love those. Yeah, this must have went with another, another batch that I did earlier. Yeah, very cool. All right. All right, last one, the bright yellow. Oh, interesting, they have green. bright green wax melts with some leaves on there yeah I like them okay what's not to love about a yellow flower oh that one seems to have bit the dust one casualty I mean you can hardly blame them from how des delicate they are I'm not, I'm not surprised that occasionally you would get one that would stick together. Um, but really, kind of have not found that many. These have that tape line on there like the other ones did. Yeah, I really like that. Interesting detail for them. somewhere there daisies and yeah I'm not sure where the tail part of that one went but I can, I'm sure I could add it to something so all right well that is the last one of those get them in my little box here and um, I'll thank you again for sticking out to the end with me I truly appreciate each and every one of you stopping by um, and hanging out with me today because I have a feeling this ends gonna end up being a bit of a long video with all these flip throughs at the end so all right well that is quite the quite the box of floral huh I'm having some fun with that so all right thanks again so much again have a wonderful and creative day bye now